Let's do the horn. Let me, I don't know what I did, so let's just save. Save, save, save. Okay, horn time. How am I gonna do the horn? So many ways I can do it. I can grab an object, start pulling it out, shaping it. I can insert, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Insert, insert what? You'd think this would be good. <laughs> I have a hard time with those. I'd rather do a block. Or even better, a cylinder. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Here we go. Play the uh, shrink game. All right. Let me get out of this. Too lazy. I'm using one hand. All right. Bring it up. Shrink it down. Better size, bring it up. Let's position this baby. All right, let's rotate it. Yeah, I don't need no 90 degree turn. Now, I wonder what. Hmm. I see like two different horn sizes in my reference. I don't know. I'm going to. Mess with it later, probably. Uh, let's grow. All right, let's keep it like so. I'm happy with that. And I shall save after deleting my history. I'm gonna do an alt and hit. That'll take that the geometry. It selects that geometry. Then I can do that again for the cylinder. I love when it doesn't work. It's awesome. There we go. And now if I'll save. Let's do number three. Because we got horns. All right. Um, I didn't like that. Or did I? Hmm. I should probably put it more to its size. Let's do that. Bring it over here. Shrink it down. What? How dare you? All right. Put it in place. All right. I'm going to have mine come out straight. You know what? I could bend it later with the move. Um, am I happy with that? I want a little longer. All right, all right, all right, all right. We gotta make decisions. Take it forever here. Uh, so let's not smooth it. Let's divide it. <laughs> divide and that way it will be nice and smooth now let's look at the symmetry symmetry activate I want to do like a Z symmetry I wonder how no not Z X Y Z is this let's do a radio symmetry take away that Z What's this? Mirror. Radial. Would that work if I did anything on it? Huh. Oh. What? How dare this? Let's delete this lower. Delete. Where is it? Delete lower. Alright. Never give me that warning again. That radio did not work. I thought it it would take it like around, but I think it's doing something else. Let's take it off before I forget it's on. So I'll just smooth it out. Let's drop in Sculptress because Sculptress will. Oh yeah, that would take it down. Um, and he doesn't have like really sharp 
porn, so I'm like touching it really soft right now. Uh, I am happy with that. Notice what I did because I'm using a bigger uh, brush. I simplified the geometry. That's one thing I don't want to call that a drawback, but it's something you got to be aware of when you use Sculptress. So I'm going to shrink it down and then smooth it over. Try not to destroy any of the shape because I'm pretty happy with the shape. It looks a little rough, which is good. It's a horn. Hmm. There you go. And the top, of course. All right, almost done there. Nice looking horn. What the heck was that? Is that an era? Oh yeah. Nice. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to Z remesh uh, at a later time anyway. So that's his horn. Um, it's not the shape I want. I know I said it was the shape I want. It's not the shape I envision totally. Let's save. Because I am happy with it. I just got to put that slight bend on it. I see one that's like bending downward. Yeah, he has a downward bend to it. So I don't, I want a, a slight forward bend, there we go. Nobody can see it but me. And then we could do the downward bend. Um, I probably shouldn't, yeah, I think I like that. And it has this like curve, yes. Something like that. Awesome. All right, so maybe I should, let me see if I take this out a bit. Eh, I think I took it out too much. Let's lock my camera. Pull it out where I want. Shrink this move. I want to get it a little sharp there. Which is not fair because now it's made it a little more skinny. And I'll probably go in sculptress the end there to make it slightly more sharp. Let's bring down. Oh boy. Did I do it again? I did it again. What the heck was that from? It's going to drive me nuts. I'm not going to be able to sleep. Until <laughs> oh wait. Uh, Tiny Tunes. I think it was a uh, Plucky Duck when he was uh, a baby. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I pushed the button. All right. I am extremely happy with that. So happy. I think I'm going to duplicate it to the other side. But the base... I don't know. I see the horn is being a little bigger. Maybe I'll extend the base. Yes, I will. So I'll go to my sub tools. I don't know if I should make it one sub tool. Um, I got a bad habit of having a thousand sub tools, but this is an organic one piece model, maybe a thousand teeth. <laughs> uh, what should I do? What should I do? Let's just mirror and yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So use my trusty mirror mirror weld got two of them and same sub tool i'm happy all right now i want to look at my reference and i want to look at this let's bring that back in i feel that this is longer what do you think I feel it's a little longer. I can do that. But then the other picture is like so short. I don't know if they're two different ones and I have pictures of different ones. Oh. Vincent Zool, are you that different? Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. Let's give it a shot. All right. I'm gonna lock it. I'm gonna make it big. Grab that move. Make it bigger. Oops. Locked it in the wrong spot. Um, yeah. Kind of like that. I still want it like a little curve from a different angle. Uh, looks like. Hmm. Let's do it before and after. Yeah, it's like so plain there. All right. I'm happy with this. Uh, file save. I think his head's supposed to be a little more rounded. And I think it's his neck being so thick that it's taking away that that look. Uh, maybe this too. Maybe like that. Oh yeah. All right, so um, we shall go into it. Let's do some transparency. And we're gonna start moving this a bit. How, we did all that detail in this cover. How dare it do that? That was my fault. Let's blame ZBrush. Why not? I didn't even wanna move that. Come on. Uh, yes. How's that looking? I gotta bring it down and out a little bit more. All right, it's looking beautiful, I think. Let's see how it looks without transparency. And I'm pretty happy with that. It goes in. Maybe I'll take that out. Yeah. Oh yeah. We could put the detail on the horn. Um, that'll be cool. Let me see something about his jaw. Jaw is right. What's not right is I don't think this right here comes out that far. But then if I push that in, I gotta put a lot in. Which I would do. The pushing and pulling never ends, does it? Yes. All right, looking good, guys and gals. Looks so funny. It's like a blob in the detailed head. <laughs> All right, let's. Maybe I should get some uh, structure. Let's use clay build up. I'm gonna add a fall off. Let's use number six. Let's add some detail. Cause yeah, that's looking horrible. Save. Let's delete that history. Which. I guess it just didn't up to there it goes. Beautiful fast save. Now, um, I should have more reference for his body, which I don't, because I was like, oh, next time I record, I'm just doing the head. But look at me, doing the body like a grown boy. All right, so this arm is huge. Let's bring it in. No, oh. <laughs> it is huge. No. All right, let's bring it in. He's he's built like a tank, but you know, let's make it look uh, decent at least. All right, so he has uh, like a bicep here. 
It's Monster Anatomy, so. Oops, I got Sculpture Song. I don't know if I want to use that yet. Let's do, I guess, like a big bicep here. Um, and this bicep goes all the way around, meaning, all right, you're not, you're going out too far. I'm gonna take this in a bit. Take this in a bit. And I'm gonna take this right here in. So, that goes around and I definitely gotta move the elbow. Or what I think is the elbow, I don't know what that is. Move that in. Let's move this part in, what the heck is going on there? Move the leg, but whatever. Oh boy. I can't isolate the arm if I hold like control and alt. Wait, no, no, no. Control and shift. And I should have grabbed the lasso. But I can do that and just work on the arm. That'll eliminate all that problem. But I like to see my whole model, especially if it's not lagging. Let's do that. Let's do that for just to say, hey, we used a lot of techniques today. I'm grabbing all this, keeping that, and now we can work on the arm. This bicep should be bigger, I mean longer. Yeah. So we got his bicep there. Wow, it's not that long. All right. Right here, and then there's a lot of folds here. That's what's kind of tricking my eye. And then his forearm starts right there. This goes in all this goes in this is like his wrist over here he has like a really meaty forearm which I shall build right now so I'm gonna grab this clay build up add some volume sir volume right here let's smooth that out a little more volume right here. I feel like I should zoom in. All right. Uh, I'm liking it. Let's add a little tiny volume here. Make it more uniform with this. Smooth that out. All right. I don't know if I want it flat like that. Uh, add the meat. cool way to add muscle right so what a weird muscle and that is nice I'm really liking it digging it uh, this should be a little more smooth unless I want to put a twist on it uh, this should be smooth as well you know what undo I got way too smooth let's Push it in a bit. And let's grab the move. Hmm, tiny bit. Happy with it. Happy, happy, happy. Let's go. What did I say? Happy? I mean save, right? Happy means save. If you want to stay happy with it. <laughs> If you're new to 3D and just watching along, see how it's done, you'll get used to losing stuff. You'll probably cry about it. Um, so uh, I think you hold Control and Shift and then just tap on the model. I mean, blank space and everything should come back. I don't like doing that because, uh, I mean, I don't like s segregating it. But this time it looked like it worked out really well uh, let's see how we're doing on time I should be going to sleep all these days I'm recording I should be sleeping 46 minutes where does the time go but you know what we got an arm shape <laughs> we got an arm shape I should do I did the face the face is looking really neat um, I want to do the underside of his jaw 
start adding teeth. And, uh, huh. Maybe add some horns. I know where the horns go. Oh, I want to add that so bad. Maybe later. Uh, what are we going to do for the last 10 minutes? That's what I'm trying to figure. Should I do the back legs since I'm working with legs? I don't want to. Uh, fingers? That's difficult and boring, but necessary. Now I got to see if the proportions are right. His forearm should be way bigger than his bicep. So, the proportions are not correct. I'm going to do this. Topological. Topology. Whatever. Let's just stretch it out like that. See what happens. And you know what? It's not so bad. Not so bad. Bring it out like that. Huh. Do I want him bending like that? I don't know if I want him more like this. Bending outward like that. Um, yeah, I think I like that. It's more of his pose, you know. Let's grab that move brush. Let's do some moving. Oh my gosh. Undo. Let's bring it down. Let's start shaping it. Because I lost some shape, as you may notice. Bring that out. Let's bring his forearm shape back. Alright, it's looking awesome. Hmm. I want it more rounded. He has like this big round forearm and the flat side of a forearm if you look at your own anatomy is it's kind of where your thumb rides you know so i want his thumb on the inside or wait what is his thumb he's a monster damn it but anyway i, I don't want this part to be flat i want this to be the round part and the maybe the flat side could be right here see it's a little more flat. I'll be happy with that. That's the part that leads to his elbow. And it could be right here. I guess I'll fix this now. Oh, yeah. Getting rid of it. So. Bring that down. I guess I know what I'm going to be working on for the next two minutes. Fix this. Let's grab that move. Fix that. I could do some snake hook now. All right, I should do snake hook. His wrist should be here though. Um, clay buildup. I want his wrist to be a little more prominent. Maybe a little more square. Yeah. But again, I want um, this part to be the flat part. Uh, kind of works out with that I just want a little rotation so I'm gonna just make it look like it's rotating I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna make this a little more flat and there we go um, so let's smooth the rest out get in there smooth this that way the transition isn't as harsh I still want it organic not looking like a mech all right so Am I happy with that? I think I should make a bigger wrist. Mm. All right, 
looking good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that'll be his wrist. It comes like kind of down. Now, I noticed like on his model, <clears throat> his design, he's not like, I guess his fingers will come out like that. I don't want that. I want them to be more dog like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete save you know because i'm happy save happy with this but i'm still gonna change it i'm going to let's do a mask i'm gonna grab his wrist and i probably shouldn't have done that let's do it better let's grab his wrist like this okay got his wrist now what I'm gonna do is what the? That's not really. Is that gonna bother me? All right, let's hold Alt while holding Control. Let's clean up the selection. I can live with that. No, I can't. Yes, I got his wrist. Now if you hold Control and I believe Tap, it'll invert. Also, I have a nice little. Oops. Damn you. I have a... Where is it? Where is it? Blur mask? Do I want a blur mask? Yes, I do. So I'll blur mask. That way when I'm stretching it, moving it, it kind of like blends in a little better. So let's go to the move. Um, oh, awesome. I get to use the... Uh, huh? My Wacom tablet stopped working. Is this a glitch? All right, let's see what I got. That happened yesterday also. Anyway, got it back working. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> you get this little lock button, unlock it, bring it down, lock it. So, oops, unlock it. Let's do this like we're doing it in Maya. Go to an orthographic view. I'm using my ter terminology. Uh, all right, let's go to a different view. Front view, drop it. It's not really an orthographic view. Uh, actually, since I have perspective off, maybe you could say it is, I don't know. Um, let's lock it and do it. All right, so now it's in position. Uh, all right, so now I can just drag it. What did I want to do? I didn't want to drag it. I was happy with his position. I want to rotate it. All right, so this is the position. I want it like that. And then I want it more twisted, like, eh. And then more out. Like that, so. That's his wrist. Comes outward. And then all his fingers will, like, spread out on the floor if you want to call them fingers. I don't know. Sorry, I like to experiment sometimes. So I'm happy with that. Let me uh, go back to draw mode. Let's clear this mask and let's fix up what we did wrong here. Um, there's no detail on it, so I'm not really stressing all that. Mm, this bump is weird. Very weird move. I got the move too. That's supposed to get skinny by the wrist. That is the skinny wrist. All right. Okay. I'll be happy if this conforms a little better. Kind of like that. When I put the detail, I'll take this big lump out. Or I could do it now. Uh, let's just subtract a bit. Better. I can live with this. Move. 
safe, happy. Now, how much time do I have? I'm trying to keep this under an hour. Ooh, I have two minutes. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But what I would do is, uh, next video, I'll probably uh, use Sculptress to take out his uh, fingers. He has a couple of them. i got to get more reference because this one doesn't really show me. I think he has one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Like a certain species I know. And um, I, I will take that out and start working on it. I don't know if I should shorten the arm overall or reposition it. I'll work on that also until I'm happy. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time.